Hello, good evening, and welcome. I'm John Lazarus with Stories Matter and d &E Publishing. So far in this 87-part series, we've discussed character, genre, dialogue, how to handle horny fives at a book signing, but there's one topic we haven't talked about much, and it's one I haven't covered for a reason. Story structure can be one of the most stressful and maddening things for a new writer to tackle. There are so many to choose from, even though they don't seem all that different. But don't worry about that. Story structure is actually quite simple. In today's video, I'll teach you how to structure your story in 13 easy steps. But first, a word from our sponsor. Speaking of structure, today's video is brought to you by Lipin Building Blocks. Whether your son or daughter is a Star Wars fan or a Magic World head, Lipin Building Blocks might be right for them. Lupin blocks aren't a choking hazard for anyone over six, and even then, their soft, pliable edges will go down smoothly down most esophaguses. Plus, unlike other building block brands, Lupin sets offer no instructional guides, instilling the core values of intelligence, hard work, guile, fine motor skills, communism, and social harmony. Visit your local Chinatown for more information. Uh, today, to simplify things, I'm going to use one of my best-selling books, Destination Earth, to help you understand the underpinnings of story structure. Step 1. Map out what your characters want. No matter what kind of story you write or what kind of structure you use, you should begin by understanding what the characters want. Even before conflict is introduced, you need to implant these desires. Destination Earth tells the story of an advanced race of aliens who are just like humans, except they're physically perfect and stay 17 forever. Jaren and Nico are a pair of newlyweds who want to visit Earth on their honeymoon and have sex in all its exotic biomes. Step 2. Identify where character arcs intersect and diverge. Ask yourself, where are their victories and defeats? Where do they depart and reunite? Draw lines to map out where each character has their peaks and troughs. If those lines are flat and parallel, you haven't done your job. Here's how I sketched Jaren and Nico's arcs. They start out on top of each other, which makes sense, as the first 30 or 40 pages mostly consists of graphic depictions of hardcore penetration. But things get more complicated once Nico meets John, a middle-aged writer who shows her the beauty of prose and poetry. Step 3. Write out all your backstory. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We've got to get all the backstory, too. I suggest writing it all at once, and then deciding which pieces you want to distribute at which points of the story. It was at this point in the planning that I came up with the idea that Jaren's father ran the tourism company that transports aliens to Earth, and that Jaren was secretly working for the company to genetically modify humans to become sexually compatible with aliens thereby not just making Earth a destination for newlyweds, but for a larger group of sex tourists. Step 4. Break your story into three acts. Beginning, middle, end. There's a reason all Hollywood movies stick with a three-act structure, and it's not just because most screenwriters are nepotism hires with little education and more knowledge of cocaine distribution networks than world literature. By this point in your planning, you should be able to break your story into three acts. Don't worry about the details yet. For Destination Earth, I knew the third act would focus on the legislative battle over elective alien genital transition surgery. Step 5. Identify your story's shock points. A shock point isn't necessarily a twist. It's just a crisis or an opportunity for the characters. It could be as simple as a character dying, or in Destination Earth, for example, it can be as messy as revealing the President of the United States has been an alien pedophile this whole time. Step 6. Identify your lulls. Of course, a well-structured story needs to balance its peaks and its troughs. Funerals follow deaths. Pillow talk follows hardcore penetration. And in the case of Destination Earth, the President's big reveal is followed by a civics professor giving a lecture on the history of the line of succession uh, for the executive office. Step 7. Break your story into seven acts. Now that you've identified the shock points and lulls, you can break your story up better. Each of the seven acts should start with a lull and end with a crisis, including the seventh act if this is a series. 
If you have more or fewer, you need to do some editing or possibly some rewrites. For Destination Earth, I had to add a whole subplot about John and Nico creating an alien-human hybrid using only the mental power of love. Step 8. Decide if a non-linear story might be better. Now you've got your story all planned out. Only six more steps to go. Read through your story six or seven times. Can you lift one of the exciting middle sections and make it the prologue? Will your story make more thematic sense told backwards? For Destination Earth, I made the Alien Board of Tourism declare all Earth tourism illegal at the beginning of the story, which seems to make the rest of the story pointless, but only if you don't take time dilation into account. Step 9. Bring the narrative full circle. This step is optional, but highly recommended. Find some way to connect the beginning and end of your story. It's easy to do and makes you appear more clever than you really are. It can be something simple like two people saying hello, or the main character returning to the bed they woke up in at the beginning of the story. Step 10. Present a final challenge. Though really, you should have done this by now. If you didn't, quickly add one. Step 11. Show how your world and its characters have changed. In Crime and Punishment, Raskolnikov ends up learning killing Jews is bad, no matter how much wealth they hoard. In most of Shakespeare's plays, the world is better off because a bunch of rich people died. In Destination Earth, humans realize that age of consent laws aren't as simple as they seem. Step 12. End on a cliffhanger, even if you don't plan to write a sequel. Publishers like this. They want to milk you for all you're worth uh, to make up for their own inadequacy, and if they think you can write a series, you're more likely to get a big contract. Step 13. Put your story back into three acts. Again, this is for publishers, who actually aren't all that bright, and need things explained in as simple of terms as possible. A nice three-act structure is the best way to do this. Well, that's all for today. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll leave you with this week's This Day in Literary History. See you on the next one.